so this is the preview what we're gonna do today so if you haven't watched my previous video on peel mill please make sure to watch it because we're gonna continue from the lesson where we left in peel mill i'm gonna attach a link in description below you can check it over there first watch that lesson and then continue over here for better understanding of the today's lesson so with that let's get started so welcome back guys so today's model gonna be same as we used in peel mill in mining operation in our last video we're gonna continue using this model and then we're gonna select our as you can see over here we're gonna put this these last operations used in peel mill so in next we're gonna use this model and perform our area mill operation by removing the material from inside pockets so let's get started here first of all expand gallery button and then select so select area mill and then you're gonna see over here click on stay inside and then select machining region you're gonna select C plane and select the bottom chain holding shift key and make sure it's clockwise and similarly with another pocket click clockwise click ok you can preview the chain by clicking on preview chain and i will show you click here and this red region shows that the area mill gonna perform its tool path inside this pocket so now we're gonna go to click ok and then select our tool we're gonna use three quarter flat end mill so comment it over here as roughing and finishing the pocket and then click on cut parameters and then make it climb and stock to leave on walls and floor to zero both gonna be zero and then our xy step over gonna be 45 percent of diameter leave it default and now go to transitions with and so enable depth cuts enable it and make our max ref step to 0.25 as our maximum depth is of pocket is already 0.5 so we're gonna make our ref to 0.25 so around in two steps it gonna complete our tool path of area mill so now transitions and then click over here make it helical radius gonna be 0.25 leave everything default click on ranking parameters click clearance enable everything should be okay make our top of stock to incremental over here as i already told you it's gonna be 0.5 as our pocket depth is negative 0.5 so our top gonna be positive 0.5 as we selected the bottom chain of the pocket so our depth gonna be zero as we already slept the last end point of our pocket so click ok now we're gonna verify it as you can see the area mill tool path is generated so this gonna click ok click verify and then you're gonna see our model here it comes uh, first we're gonna click on peel mill first we're gonna see our previous operation so click ok and then you see it's peel mill and now it's gonna slowly start its area mill as you see this first depth and it's gonna be second depth and it's gonna be completed and now another pocket first depth 0.25 as our max step step and then again 0.25 finish it up and you can see the corners are doesn't machined because we used quarter inch like three fourth end mill but our radius of our corners is 0.25 so we're gonna remachine it by using our same area mill remachining option so we're gonna select our tool 0.25 so now we're gonna copy the operation and make our uh, red arrow to top 
and now click over here right click of mouse and just copy drag it down and copy after and now we're gonna see and make our arrow to down so click on parameters and then we're gonna select our tool to 0.25 inch click on filter 0.25 and click ok finishing up remachining finish the pockets and now select our tool select library tool and then select one fourth flat and mean go to stock enable rest material and click on one other operation this gonna be select our last operation as a area mill click ok this gonna be clear the material left by last operation as you we already see in verification which corners are left so click ok ignore small cups go to depth cuts disable it and then go to linking parameters we are gonna be same go to linking parameters make sure it's gonna be all same click ok and now you're gonna see over here it says cross so we need to regenerate it so go to regenerate all the operations click ok and then you're gonna see it's, the cross is removed so now we're gonna verify it click select all operations and verify so now you can see i'm gonna quickly show you first gonna be pale mail and then our this operation is area mail and now it's finishing the corners it's remachining the pockets so in the green color shows the remachining of corners as you see so that's it guys if you found this video helpful please please do share with your friends and if you have any feedback for me or if you have any queries please make sure to comment and there are more beginner level videos if you are interested you can go on, on home page of my channel and watch there plus if you are new here don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching guys see you in next video